Novara 37 is finally out with some really cool updates. In this video, we're going to talk through some of those, as well as I'm going to talk about some of the issues that I had when going from Novara 36 to Novara 37. So there are two updates to Novara. This one is the one that actually went to no Fedora 37, which is now Novara 37. And some of the nice things here is Gamescope, Mango HUD, both updated. Blender was updated. Steam Tinker Launcher, which I was not as familiar with, was updated. So this is actually a mod tool for games on Linux, which is pretty cool because I know for a while there, this was something that was a lot more difficult to do. So I will probably be diving into this at some point for, you know, some classic games that really need mods to be good. But Gamescope is particularly interesting. We'll get to why in the next update. One thing not touched on here is they actually redid the way that NVIDIA drivers are handled in Obara, and they now work correctly with DaVinci Resolve, which is a really cool thing because I know that was uh, something that Glorious Egg Roll had been working on for a while. Uh, NVIDIA issues had been a major thing for him, so I'm glad it seems like they finally got things on the right track. The uh, other nice piece about that is that during my upgrade, you know, the, during my video, I think I talked about the NVIDIA drivers update tried to happen like four or five times and it kept on making me reboot and verify and all that. This time it happened once and it just auto rebooted and it was like it was really quick and I was really glad to see that. So it seems to have fixed up that issue as well where it was just constantly going back into that loop. For some people, it happened even more times. Uh, I, I don't know what was happening there, but anyway. Uh, that is that is the good part about that is uh, it looks like they hopefully finally have all that figured out because I know NVIDIA drivers are a pain. <sighs> I'm debating whether I want to go to an AMD card at this point. So the January 13th update was also posted and that updated the kernel to 6.1.4 but the cool thing to me is here updated Mesa Vulkan drivers to get from 1.6.2023, and it includes the required patches for Gamescope HDR. So if you haven't been keeping up with this, uh, Gamescope, recently there was a Steam developer on Twitter, like literally a couple weeks ago, that was talking about how they wanted to start getting, you know, HDR working for Linux. And, you know, on something like that, you figure, okay, maybe this later this year, we'll start hearing something. But no, literally, within weeks we've had about this. Uh, Brody Robinson has a great video talking about that. And I would encourage you, if you're interested in the HDR for Linux, I would look at that and also just look at Gamescope. But Gamescope's a really cool software to me because it's ultimately something where you're actually running the game through a special display engine, I believe is the way to put it. And that's what's actually allowing HDR. So. This could be really big for Linux gaming when it comes to having HDR available, especially as more and more games use HDR to enhance their look. And if you're not familiar with HDR, it's, it's high dynamic range. And essentially you can go further into the blacks and the whites and have further differences in the brightness of colors. So at a basic level, that's what it is. And ultimately, like, that's going to be something that's huge for games because almost every game nowadays has some HDR mode that really, you know, tries to make colors pop. So that's really cool. Uh, so when I was actually updating to Nabara 37, uh, these instructions, I actually used the ones on the Discord, but I believe these are all the same. Uh, these are the ones I actually used. Uh, you first, if you're doing NVIDIA, you have to remove NVIDIA and then... Uh, I actually got an error that it couldn't find this. I assume that's because we just uninstalled it, but it wasn't completely clear from, from that. But yeah, like I mentioned, DaVinci Resolve and Blender uh, now have the extra uh, support, so that's really cool. But, uh, but yeah, I, I got it like a uh, NVIDIA driver not found. So just to, for anybody that's still looking to update, that's something to watch out for. But yeah, this, this rest of the stuff is fairly normal. Uh, one that thing to note, so this, this here, it says uh, you need to look for RPM new files in your repo list. And I did not have this before the update, but after the update, I did have two nobara.repo. I had nobara.repo and nobara.repo.rpm new, just like it's displayed right here. 
I had that, and so I actually had to run this particular command after the update to get it to complete its final update steps because it kept on going and um, trying to do the, the final post update steps to clean things up. And it was be, it couldn't complete because I had to run this particular command. Um, a little bit further down, uh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. You shouldn't have Nobara NVIDIA official. And I did, so I actually had to go turn that off. And I just did that from Discover and went down to, I believe, Settings. Yeah, and then turned off Nobara NVIDIA official. Yeah, I don't see it. So Nobara NVIDIA official was in this list. I just turned that off. I unchecked it and I entered my password and it, it worked. So one thing to note here, after I ran the system upgrade reboot command, I actually had to go into the grub settings and, you know, I pressed E on the grub menu entry and I added no mode set on the end of the line that starts with the Linux. And I had to do that the first time just to get in. I was getting a completely black screen for, I believe, in, related to NVIDIA driver issues. Once I did that, it just, it picked it up right away. It installed the NVIDIA drivers and I was all set and, you know, it rebooted and I was able to get back in just fine. But that is just one of the things that I would note that I had to do after this. Uh, NVIDIA drivers can cause all kinds of fun things to happen. That's one of the reasons I'm debating if I want to switch to an AMD card at some point here. Um, but there are ISOs out now, so, you know, you shouldn't be running into this issue really at this point. So I would encourage you if, you've, if you're not attached to your 36 install, if you, that's what you have, or if you're looking to come from another distro, naturally, I would use the latest particular one. But it seems like every, you know, every time the, the things I like about this is that, you know, the team is ultimately trying to put together stuff that they think will be useful for people and trying to really improve things. And with that focus on gaming and content creation, there are some packages here that I just, you know, I've heard of Mango HUD. Um, I don't know that I've heard of G-Overlay, but you know, GameScope is relatively new and Steam Tinker, I believe is somewhat new. I had not really heard of that until fairly recently. So that's one thing that I find difficult about Linux is there are just times where I don't even know something exists and I don't know to even look for it. And I don't know how I would really search for it aside from, you know, I, I wouldn't even necessarily think to search for it sometimes. So. It's really cool that that's all here now and you know I'm looking forward to kind of see what happens next and to see where this ends up going. And that's kind of it for our look at Navarra 37. I'll probably take a break from Navarra videos for a time until something you know major happens with an update because right now you know we just got to Navarra 37. I'm sure that there are other things that's going to be tweaked and added but for the moment I think we were past the big updates and if you, there's something specific from Navarra you'd like to see, please let me know and I'll be glad to try to put something together on that. The HDR thing, unfortunately, I can't really show off very easily in a video. I can obviously try to record HDR at some point, but there's only so much I can do with that, especially if you don't have an HDR screen to see that. Plus, you know, YouTube compression and all the other stuff. So. If you ended up sticking around this long, consider signing up for my newsletter. I'm really starting to make that a bigger deal. And thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.